going back to what you said, invest in extra money. And, and that's what, on top of this class here, we have an investment class uh, on uh, Saturdays that we usually do. And again, I'm here at the airport on Saturday, so I had to do an impromptu video before this uh, call we had here for the class. But that's something that we always talk about. Just because you get extra, that don't mean you have to, you know, live up to your income. Or if you get a job promotion, if you're comfortable where you're at, just because you have a new title, that don't mean you have to increase your lifestyle to meet that title. It's okay to stay where you're at, increase the income, and then bring more money in the household to set yourself up for future growth in the future. So I like that part. But another another video I've seen you have, you have um, how to make passive income. So out of the five topics you had, and I'll go through them real quick, real estate, dividend stocks, you know, writing a book, taking a course, you know, YouTube, out of those five, which one is the best one or the one that you like the most to do? We like the most, um, I think real estate, right? Real estate. Well, was real estate one of our points? We made so many videos with tips. But uh, that time, yeah, we, we didn't have the second it was real house. Estate. Yeah, if, so by that video, yes. we had the second house. Our by far favorite is real estate because um, it's like a project that first off, like we're working on together and it's kind of fun to see it go from point A to point B. So. So far, the houses that we have, um, they've required a little bit of work and it's kind of cool to see the progress. And then when we do have renters or we get our first um, paychecks from that particular um, investment property, it's pretty um, cool. Like I remember the very, very first payment, Sin and I just looked at each other and it was just like this massive feeling of accomplishment. And I'm not saying that the other ones we don't like, I'm just saying, um, the real estate has taken off first for us and I am sure we're going to experience that feeling once our YouTube channel takes off or once one of our online courses take off as well. Like we're going to have that feeling of, whoa, like we worked so hard and whoa, it's starting to pay off. So it's just like such a cool feeling. Right. I agree with you. I like, I like real estate a lot. And I always uh, tell my wife uh, every first of the month is my birthday because somebody's sending me money. <laughs> it's uh it's perfect. I love it. Yeah, real estate is one of the ones that you, you instantly you see the cash flow coming in, or you see the money coming in. Of course, starting out the first property, you you know you might have to allocate more, but once you start doing it and uh, making a repetition of the property two, property three, property four, they get better and better as far as cash flow. You know the mistakes you made in the first one, and then you go on to the next one. And then so the last one I'm gonna ask. Because I know everybody's tired of hearing background noise and stuff like that. I know Alex has a lot of great questions to ask. Um, you had a video about self motivation. And the question I have for you, and so this is a question that I always give, and then of course I always give the generic answer because, you know, I'm I always look into myself to motivate myself. Um, so, what would be the answer if you had this question? So, I'm going to ask the question. All right. When you tell people to look for motivation, look for people that want to do better things in life. So you want to surround yourself by like-minded people. If you're trying to go somewhere, you want people that's trying to go somewhere. You don't want to, you don't want to uh, surround yourself around people that's trying to do nothing when you're trying to advance. So if somebody comes to you and say, well, I want to progress in life, but I don't know anybody that will motivate me, or if I don't know anybody that's like-minded or trying to go somewhere, what would your advice be? Um, I would say start within your friend circle at work and your immediate friends and to evaluate who would be the best option to go and talk to. And it may not be your age. He might not be, it might be an older person, you know, who's in their fifties because they're mature because people tend to think, Oh, I'm 21. I need to hang out with other 21 year olds to be cool or to succeed. But that's not true. You need to figure out who's more mature and who has seen life more than you or who has something more than you. You cannot be hanging out with your level people. Like um, it, it, that's where I would say to start off. Maybe it's at church, your mentor, the elders at church. It might be uh, at school, a professor just asking and saying, you know, I need, I need some guidance. And eventually, if you have that mind that you want to be motivated, you're going to attract those people. Mm -hmm. Like if you are a drinker, like if you like beer, if you like football, 
you will watch the Super Bowl with some people who like football. Like you will find them, <laughs> like your family, your coworkers, somewhere. Some people, you know, you will find them. So if you have that mind, like I want to be around people who are, you know, thriving and succeeding, you will find them. You just have to give us some time, get first connection, second. You know? So a little bit of an analogy, Stan. Tell them what you told me at the gym today. Um, it's it's not when it comes to like finances or motivation. Well, I guess it is motivation, it but like is, tell, yeah. tell them that analogy you told me at the gym. So but real quick. On you the, could insult me. It's okay. No, it's not. It's just, <laughs> I just figured it out. Wait, I'm just realizing that I cannot lift more or I'm not so motivated to lift when I work out with my wife, <laughs> even though we work out pretty intense. Like we do more than the average. We do intense cardio. We do heavy lifting. But when I work out with one of my friends, who is uh, one of my close friends who is really buff and big and he benches like three, four plates and I'm like 10% of his size. I literally looked at Lynn and said, Lynn, I'm not motivated to work out with you. I don't know why. I, I, I'm lazy. I'm like, I'm done. Let's go home. And I'm just realizing, wait, you're motivated more than me, but she has not worked out with anybody more than, you know, I, I pushed, I push more and I make her push. So when I don't work out with someone who's stronger than me, like, a hundred times stronger than me. I feel it. I'm telling you, I told her, you're not, you're not the wrong person. It's just, I look at you and I'm like, okay, let's go. hundred pounds, 75. But I, when I'm working on my friend, I'm benching like almost two plates and he's there to spot me and say, push, push. And I'm yeah. like, I want to go more. And I feel more buff, yeah. but I told him it's not something wrong. It's just that I just realized the concept that if you hang out with people, Lower better than you. <laughs> or better than you, you're going to push. You will become your personality is going to be a different person when you hang out with more people who are stronger than you. Uh, he may be stronger, but I'm still smarter. The thing so. is, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get smarter because I'm with her. She tells me, um, don't move up. <laughs> the grammar is wrong. And I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. I spelled the wrong word or 